Hydromedic Boating Safety Today, we will be talking about safe boating practices with hydraulic steering. We will cover the steering checks to perform before you get on the water, safe steering practices while you are on the water, and how to maintain your steering system when you are done for the day. Steering System Checks First, we are going to perform an inspection of our Dometic Hydraulic Steering System by following the steps displayed in the warning labels located on the helm pump and the steering ram cylinder. These warnings are also provided in the installation and owner's manual. If you do not have any of these, please email cstar at dometic.com and we will mail you a set free of charge. Your boat may be fitted with a Dometic Seastar Marine Hydraulic Steering System. The steering checks we are going to perform apply to all Dometic Hydraulic Steering products. The first thing you want to do is check the fluid level in the helm. Remove the cap and check that the fluid level is 1 quarter to 1 eighth inch below the bottom of the fill port thread. Other boats may use a tilt or rear mount type helm. Again, you want to remove the cap and check the fluid level is one quarter to one half inch below the bottom of the fill port thread. If you do not see fluid in this area, you need to find out why and correct the problem. If you have a multiple station boat, you will be checking the fluid level from the highest station. Checking from the lower station will result in an oil leak and will create quite the mess. You want to turn the steering wheel from hard over to hard over and verify immediate steering response. The wheel effort should be low. If the system does not respond immediately, do not operate your boat. Have that problem corrected. Check for any binding, looseness, or interference of any of the components. You also want to check that the hoses move freely and there is no tightness. If your boat is outfitted with a jack plate, repeat the process while moving the jack plate up and down making sure that the hoses are not being pulled, kinked, or interfering with anything. Repeat this check with your engine at the top of tilt and trim range. Also ensure that the steering hoses are not too long, as they could become snagged or pinched. If you detect any tight steering response or tight or strained hoses, do not operate your boat. Have that problem corrected. Check along the length of the steering hose for any kinking, chafing, or wear. Inspect the fittings for any looseness, corrosion, or leaks. If you detect any chafing, kink, wear, or leak on your hoses, or looseness, corrosion, or leaks on the fittings, do not operate your boat. Have the problem corrected. Check your steering cylinder for any loose components, corrosion, leaks, or pitting on the shafts. Visually inspect the cylinder shaft for corrosion, wear, or pitting. Damaged shafts can cause loss of hydraulic oil and therefore a loss of steering. Check the nuts at the end of the shaft for corrosion or looseness. Check the end glands for corrosion, looseness, or leaks. Check the bleed nipples for corrosion, looseness, or leaks. If you have a tilt helm, check for looseness or binding in each tilt position. Ensure that your wheel locks in all tilt positions. If you detect any binding, corrosion, wear, looseness, or pitting on your steering components, do not operate your boat and have the problem corrected. While boating, always wear an approved personal flotation device a PFD, Personal Flotation Device. Also ensure that the engine shutoff lanyard is attached to the engine shutoff. And your PFD, or a piece of clothing that you are wearing. Never allow anyone unfamiliar with the operation of the steering system to operate the boat at any time. You want to know and adhere to all laws and restrictions in your area, including municipal, state, and your federal laws. Boats, unlike cars, do not react immediately to steering inputs. Do not panic and jerk the steering wheel or throttle. Good drivers are smooth with their movements on the throttle and the steering wheel. While maneuvering, gauge the effect of a modest steering input and adjust input as needed. After boating. When you are finished for the day, 
ensure that you rinse off the steering cylinder with fresh, clean water only. Remember to maintain your Dometic Seastar steering system, as laid out in the installation and owner's manual, twice per year by a qualified marine technician. If you have any questions about our systems, give technical support a call 604-248-3858 and we will help you out.